All right, guys, what's up? I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. I had to take a dirt road to get down here. Basically, I'm looking for this abandoned horse ranch that has like an empty pool, a couple of empty pools we might be able to skate, I don't know. But once I hit this dirt road, there was a white ute pulled over and I've come around the back of the ute and it's some bloke sitting on the back of his ute with a sniper rifle aiming at these hills just here behind me. <laughs> like I drove past and I kind of looked and I was like, whoa, I better keep going. So yeah, fingers crossed we can make it down to this place. There's a gate. I think I can drive around the gate here though. So we'll see how we go. Just to give you guys a quick look at where I am right now. This is uh, basically where I am right now. Got the mountains over there, some fields and stuff. And uh, I'm taking a back road, I'm taking the uh, dirt road here. Look how vast it is out here. It's parked right there, but check out those mountains. But yeah, this is a dead end. This is a wildlife area, so you can go hunting and fishing past that gate here. So all of this is for hunting. So I did a bit of research on this place online, naturally. Did a recon online. This place sold back in, I think it was 2017 or 2019. I believe they used to like breed and train racehorses here and uh, show horses and show ponies and whatnot. This feels very weird. There's like nobody around at all. It feels like The Walking Dead. You know in The Walking Dead how they're just kind of walking places and I'll see the odd occasional zombie here and there. That's what it feels like. All right, there's some graffiti on the building, so it's a bandoed. Okay, I can kind of relax now. Check it out. So that tells me the graffiti and the broken windows tells me nobody cares about this place. Another sorrow piece. I've seen a bunch of these pieces in various Southern California locations. Checked on Google Earth and I guess the images from Google Earth are pretty old because this was full of water. This big reserve here was like full of water so as you can see it's all dried up out here obviously because it's quite dry in southern california oh, wow there's a little bridge there we're going to take in a minute how's the view guys out. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think this is the type of pool you can skate, regardless if it's empty or not. It's that kind of, I don't know what you would call this, but it's not like smooth concrete and the transitions look really steep. So, that's a bummer. Really cool pool though. I mean, there's a love seat over there, there's a spa. Kind of walk in here and there's actually a slide I'll show you guys in a second. I imagine this would have been a waterfall at one point. And you come around the back here, run up the stairs. Mom, mom, look at me, ready? Jump and then you just go down this. All the way around and then boom. Straight into the drink, mate. Look how filthy that water is. That is gross. Would not want to fall into that today. What a bummer. Have a go at this location though. Imagine being here, staying in this pool house, which you, rich people would call this house a pool house. And you've got your pool, your spa, your water slide, and look at the mountains there. They always put this stuff in American houses. See how there's like a little ledge there? I find that very interesting about American house architecture. And see how like they put it across and there's like a gap from the roof. I don't know what this is, looks like a pantry or something. There's a few different buildings on the property. Um, obviously one's gonna be, one or two are gonna be a horse stable, but I don't know if I should urge the other buildings for shits and gigs. That's okay. Okay, it's more like a moat. Have a go at that. Someone's done that with a chisel tip. It says, Kimberlin, I'm pretty sure. K I M B E R L Y N, Kimberlin, and then S A. That's a really nice tag. This would actually be a good place to come and paint a piece, to be honest. I've taken a bit of a solo trip up to the nude bowl today. 
had nothing else to do. Dan's injured, he can't skate. So I decided to take a drive out to the nude bowl because it's only like 40 minutes from where I'm at right now. And it's very windy. Hopefully it's not too windy in the bowl. I hashtag search nude bowl on Instagram to see what photos people have posted lately to see how much water was left in the in the bowl. So I brought a bucket and a and a broom. So there's a little bit of water in there. I'm gonna try to scoop it up with the bucket and then broom it out and then try to skate this pool because it's been a long time since I've skated a pool and I feel like this is like the best pool you can skate if you want to skate a pool because it's so historic but anyway let's get up the hill so I've made it to the top um, as you can see there's a little bit of water and a boulder in there so I'm gonna scoop that water out and try to clean the pool so I can skate it the first time I took a trip up to the nude bowl I couldn't drive all the way up like I didn't know how to drive all the way up my car's not a four wheel drive, it's only like a rear wheel drive, so it took me a few trips out here to figure out how to get up here. Now I can get up here every time. So yeah, they don't call it a trailblazer for nothing. <laughs> I bought a five gallon bucket. I can only fill it up like three quarters of the way because it's not deep enough down there. But yeah, I had to take my shoes and socks off because I got drenched. So I've just been walking across the, the dirt and rocks and broken glass here to throw the water away over there. I feel like Jesus walking on all the broken glass. So I've got the water down, but uh, I can't scrape the rest up. So I found these empty bottles. I'm gonna use these empty bottles to Soak up the last little bits. A very common theme up here for the nude bowl. All the four wheel drive drongos like to ruin the bowl for the skateboarders. So there's a bit of beef there. So I'm just going to leave it in the dead center. Hopefully I don't run into it. Not perfect. All my hard sweeping work is going to waste. It's been a long time since I've skated any pool or transition for that matter, so this is kind of scary. Especially with that big boulder in the middle there, I don't want to hit it, but I don't know. I'm puffed already. All that dragging the water out and sweeping and stuff, I feel like having a nap right now. I've got a bag full of paint here, some tins I'm trying to get rid of, so maybe we'll do a throwy or maybe a small piece even i don't know we'll find a spot down there on the hill on a on a brick wall bitch i was like jump bro he got the work then he put it in the trunk i don't want a coke go oh, i only want a skunk fooling with your ho ho i hit her like a dunk lavish on the track he gonna hit him with the funk lavish on the track then the trap be getting funky i just put a red now my copy looking muddy her just give me hair done it actually wanna fuck me boy i get the bread keep it running like it's rugby 
what? That's tough, G. Her just wanna fuck. Tell the bitch to come and suck me. I'll be getting bucks, man. This shit be getting lovely. Smoking on a skunk, then the trap be getting musty. Up me. She like lavish, can you cuff me? No, I cannot, bitch. I'm in love with all these fucks. See, plans are getting rich while the team be going up, B. I'll be just a jit, but I'm slamming like it must be. Trust me, I'm that motherfucking misfit. Always be on go. They like, boy, you really hit this. I just hit my flow, now I'm all up on a wish list. She gon' give me throat while I'm rolling off a biscuit. Switch this. I'll be moving like a bandit. I'll be Getting dosh, but they fuming cause I scammed it Going for the top and I'm zooming, never landing Fucking on your thought, yeah she love the way I slam it Spam it, cause I'll be rapping insane Tell your boy you hide his jewels or we be snatching his chain You shit toy when you spit, I ain't have to complain I hit noise with my ritz, I'll be snapping the game like jump Bro he got the work, then he put it in the trunk I don't want the coke, go, I only want a skunk Fooling with your hoe, ho I hit her like a dunk Lavish on the track, he gon' hit him with the funk Lavish on the track, then the trap be getting funky I just put a red, now my cup be looking muddy Yo, just give me a head, I know that she wanna fuck me Boy, I get the bread, keep it running like it's rugby If I got a job, then I deliver like it's pizza Me and Lavish killing shit, we had to make a feature I'm chilling with your honey on a Sunday like a preacher And spazzing on the track so hard, I think I'll have a seizure All my bars are cold, put him in the freezer I don't give a fuck, man, I'll just pluck him like a tweezer He ain't waking up, so now we looking like a sleeper On your way back, bring me his son On, on, on